Hello, I'm, I'm Bob Embley, and I'm, uh, we're, I'm here in Newport, Oregon, and uh, we're just getting ready for our latest voyage of exploration to the Mariana Arc. And uh, I'd like all of you to come along with us. Uh, we're going to see some probably some very amazing things as we uh, go uh, from Guam uh, in a couple weeks. We're going to start from Guam, and we're going to uh, go north with uh, on the ship Melville, research vessel Melville, and stopping in a number of places uh, and and putting down a, a robotic vehicle called Jason 2. And <clears throat> some of these places we saw before, and they're some of the most amazing places I've ever seen on the seafloor. Uh, in one case, we have an erupting volcano that's now we now know that has been in some state of eruption for uh, at least 18 months, which is uh, which is a complete surprise. We did not think we would see something like that, continuous like that. Uh, other places, as we go, we, we saw another place where there was liquid carbon dioxide just streaming out of the sea floor in great uh, globules. Uh, and another place where the, a, a volcanic crater several football fields long was, uh, was covered mostly in a volcanic fog, uh, sulfur-rich fog, and giving uh, sustenance to huge densities of uh, chemosynthetic life. Uh, this, this area along the volcanic arcs of the West Pacific, which we call intraoceanic arcs, uh, contain uh, many submarine volcanoes. In fact, there are hundreds of submarine volcanoes. Uh, any given point in time, there are probably uh, you know several of these volcanoes active at any time. So this allows us perhaps to study vol submarine volcanism uh, and, and it's in a way which we, which we have no other opportunity to. But first, we have to discover these places and. I was surprised when we made our first voyage there in 2004 how much is left to discover on the ocean floor. And uh, just the sites that I just described are only uh, some of the ones we've seen. And we're going to be exploring new ones, new sites during uh, the month of a April and May uh, coming up uh, on the Melville uh, with a team of interdisciplinary scientists from uh, several countries and, and representing many disciplines including biology, geology, microbiology, economic geology. So we're going to have a great team out here and we hope that you're going to join us for this voyage of exploration because uh, I know it's going to be exciting.